Hello there everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make the SU47 or SU47, how, that's how I say it. So there it is right there. It looks very nice as you can tell. Like that teeth down, bent, so yeah. And it actually flies pretty nice as well. But this is the improved version, so it's, it's a little bit harder to fly. But the regular version flies really nice. So I, I used a 14 by 8.5 inch paper. You could do this on a regular piece of paper, but I think it looks nice on this. Because it's longer and it's better. But you could easily do it on a regular sheet of paper if you don't have this. But this is just to make it ni look nicer. I made that on a regular sheet of paper, so it will look just the same. So let's get started, I guess. Um. Okay, let's get started. Oh, this, those the materials you need. First, you will start by folding the piece of paper in half. Like that. People told me to like move my hand for a second, so which I do now every half so often. I just let leave it there for a few seconds. And if you really don't like my video, I like to or well, like you to comment so I can improve. Because you could tell this video is much better than my last one because all the comments I got. So you just like overlap them. Like that. I think like maybe a quarter of an inch. Not that much. Leave it move leave it there for a second so people won't start complaining. That's impossible, there's always a complaint. Just fold it in half again. It's kinda self explanatory. So get the piece where the flap is outside of it and use that side in first. Cut it like one fourth to the bottom. The bottom is where the edge is, not the where the, the folded edge. Don't cut the other side. And cut up cut about half an inch and do it the paper. So you want to trim the edge right there. Just like, just trim it. That don't really cut it that much. Like a, just a little piece like that. Now you want to like fold it. Right now it's really easy, but gets much shorter. Like especially when you're making the wings. <laughs> now cut the edge right there. And just cut it in half right there. And by the way, this is can't cut. It's like really cheap and everything. So if you see me struggling with cutting the scissors, that's you know why now. And sorry for just background noise. So you have like two brothers, they're really noisy and everything.
Right now, don't fold it right there. I made a mistake, actually. So, what you want to do first is open it. Just the flap there and cut it right there. Do the same thing again. Just open it right there. And just cut it. It's like a part to fall off, but that's okay. Now just fold it from over from the tip to the over the around this angle. I don't know wh what angle it is because I don't have a protractor, but I just estimate by looking at the video. You can even put it next to the screen if you want to. But now put like the edge with the fold right there and just crease it right there. You don't have to make it this big. This is it's gonna be the handle. It, it I, I kinda exaggerate it a little so it's more stable and more, a better handle. But you can make it smaller or you, you may not even want it. Have it there. You don't want it. But that's like the handle. I, you can make it much smaller, but I like the saturate. But, but first, get that flap there and fold it parallel to the valley fold right there. I'll zoom in or get it closer to see. See, the f fold is parallel to that. So leave it like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Once again, to it parallel. Now, continue doing that. Just fold it over and tape it on. You could look at it for a few seconds there. There, look good. Like, could look at it. And that's a good enough. So well now you fold it like halfway right there, like a seventy-five percent, two, three thirds of the wing. So right there, not three thirds. What? Three fourths of the wing. And fold it. That's kind of annoying me, so I'm just gonna remove it. And that's also an annoying me right there. So I'm just gonna remove it now. You don't have to remove it, but I don't like it, so I just removed it. And 
And you should keep those pieces of paper if you cut it. Just put it aside and keep it for later. I remember my old videos. Oh, this is important. So you fold it in half right there. You can see, like, just fold it in half. Very simple. Because and so someone who commented like they needed help in the wings so this is your help whoever commented at the remember just fold it in half and continue that fold all the way to the front which is around right there ish I'm gonna make sure so yeah around right there Yeah, that looks really similar. So from the middle, all the way to the front. And do the same thing on the other side. you fold it up again in the middle as, as well again in both sides in the front and the back I'm gonna show you right now so you fold it right there right there in the middle it's kinda hard now because it's kinda small and right there as well in the middle 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 and just continue the fold I remember back then I had really bad lighting but now really good lighting it's like you can't even see anything anymore it's like so bright because I actually have a lamp now I, th I didn't have a lamp before so this is like my first video was a lamp which is kinda nice Back then, I said use the sun, and when it was, when it was dark, I didn't use anything. Just fold, didn't have like that. And do the same thing on the other side again. This is a really long video. I'm just looking at this sidebar. It's like 40 minutes. It's gonna be a long one hour for me. I've only been talking for like 50 minutes already. I'm already tired. It's kinda late now. It's like 8.40.
So it looks like an airplane now, I guess. So you now you cut it like one third of the wing, like that. Not halfway, but almost halfway. Just barely, just a little tiny cut. You know, you may notice my voice is low because I'm kind of tired. I kind of want to go sleep. It's like nine already. So yeah, just a little cut. Because it's not gonna be this size. It's gonna be smaller. And cut it all the way to the fuselage of the airplane. Make it diagonal, like going out outward. And fold it so like it lines up with the wing, the back wing. And we're almost done. We're about halfway done now. Which is good, I guess. And you may notice that it, it looks weird because it's completely right angle. Like that. So let's fix that right now. And this is why it needs to, it's going to get smaller because it's going to remove the a piece of the canards. So if you start by making it diagonal, like that. See, like this, this you can't cut. It's the wings and everything are the same size of the small version. The only difference, it's longer. So it looks it doesn't look all compressed together. It's more realistic. Just cut a little piece of the wing. So it doesn't look like a right angle all of a sudden. And do the same thing on the other side. Cut the uh, little tips right there. And just tape on the wings. So far it's really simple. Just cut, like estimate, the same distance within the 
edge of the wing and the back so like make it parallel basically I don't know how to explain it and cut it all the way to the front same thing and I'll always measure it like compare it see if they're the same if they're not then make them the same by trimming the edges and everything so this is the hard part I'm going to get make the wings now first right like Fold it down. Just get these back pieces out of the way for right now. Fold the wing down. Right where the the fuselage be ends. I'll just get it closer right now. So right at the edge of the paper, right there. Fold it down. Like that. Do the same thing the other side. Also fold it up. Make it line up with the edge right there and the tip of the triangle. So the wings are tilted frontward now. Do the same thing the other side. Fold it down, then up. Always like that. Don't fold it up and down. That's the wrong way. Even if you could still do that, but it doesn't look nice. And just tape it on so it stays there. Try to make it as forward as you possibly can without ripping the paper, which is kind of hard because that's like this maximum right there. But it, the real one isn't that steep, it needs to be steeper than that. So, some of the videos I recorded got deleted because my iPad ran out of memory. So I'm gonna quickly explain what happened. All I did is just trim the wing so it makes more slanted. It just curved it a little, and I just taped it straight and then measured it, kind of so it's kind of that steep. And that's all I did. I just did some of the wings, but I'm gonna review how I, how I did it uh, after this. So I apologize. I didn't. My happy went out of memory. So let's continue the video. So this is the fin. First you want to fold it uh, down. Like about a centimeter f from the middle of the plane. Then from the, just fold it right there and push it all the way back. So slant it like that. That's how you get the back part of the wings. Also cut it straight in the back, and f also the f with the stabilizer, just tape it on right at during the edge. But with the ba horizontal stabilizer, just cut it straight off and just land it right there. That's a another part that I got deleted from the video. It's not something really important, just to make it more realistic. Also, you look at the stabilizer. It I cut it off so a little bit so it lines up with the horizontal stabilizer. If you could tell I just just cut it a little bit. I just folded it back right here. It's not it's not a huge difference just to make it more realistic. But I'm gonna show it anyways. And just slanted it as well. 
I just cut this all pack section all circle line up was the engines and that's really bright there I fixed it so you just missed the whole pack section but I, I hope I explained it well and we are almost done actually I'm just gonna put some tape there So I'm basically done with the airplane. That's how it's supposed to look like. I just put tape right here in the bottom of the wings. So it holds still. you're basically done with the airplane actually but this is an additional step if you want to make it look nicer well actually this this is not not an additional step right now the last step is to make is to stretch it out like this so it looks wider and looks 3d and this part that part pack part Make it, we need to make it completely flat. Completely flat, like st stretch it out all the way. Make sure, also, you can see like it goes in a little right there. You pinch it in, so the, it makes the wings. Go f more slanted forward, as uh, even more. Also, like the back part goes outward, and it looks like the engines. You ask me, like the engines also in the very back right there. There's like two nostrils, which is really nice. Just pinch it right there, so make some more wings more slanted, and just tape it on. You can see the two nozzles right there, it looks really nice. Yep, they're right there. You could like remove the piece of tape right there, but I'm gonna make it different. This is uh, not wait, not yet. I'm just gonna make the back part look nicer. You could cut it even more if you wanted to make the nozzle more distinct.
so there you could see the engines much nicer see how much is struggling can you get a piece off so it looks much nicer and those two pumps right there look like the engines and you're basically done but the wings are really skinny it still flies really nice but I, I don't I want it realistic so get those two pieces of paper I just I told you to put aside in the beginning of the video actually more like the middle and use them on the airplane hold on I'm just fitting with it see how it works so yeah those two, two triangles I told you to put aside use them and the uh, wings So they just tip 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 it on right there. The wing goes all the way where the horizontal stabilizer is right out there, and the tip goes on the tip of the wing. Just adjusting it, make it even on both sides. That's around good. Just tip it on. Now it looks much better. And don't do this right now. Don't cut it because I made a mistake. I wanted to cut it so. Like it makes the shape of the airplane, but I cut it too much, and then there's a hole in the wing, kind of. You could see right to it. Looks kind of weird. I'm gonna show you in the other wing how to do it properly. I'm no expert. I'm s I still may make a mistake. This is actually my first time doing it this way. If you want to do something, you always have to take risk. And I made a mistake there. So I just have to tape it back on again. But at least I learned in the other wing. And most of the mistakes I actually do, I didn't even record it. I just like deleted it so people won't watch it. So that's one wing and it looks really nice. I'm actually gonna fix that again.
just putting tape all over the places if you do the f like the f front part the top part right you don't have to do anything with this you just could simply cut it any way how you wanted to but the other wing it didn't do the top or bottom part right so it came out really bad And I'm done. I got the the clips got deleted again, so I just was trying to finish it, and I'm done now. That's how it looks like with the improvements of the wings. It it may be a little bit front heavy, but if you customize the weight, it will look pretty nice. It looks really realistic if you put it next to a picture they look almost like tentacle so thanks for watching I hope you liked this video and tell me in the comments if you want to see like more videos of these or should I, I should just make that paper models because these are like airplanes and like I kinda like making models better these are kinda long and annoying so just like a slideshow of it. Well, guess that's it. Thanks for watching. S subscribe for more.